strike, eating two rockets from Rafa. Rafa is still fighting with 22 health. Destruct. <laughs> Actually, that helped him out a little bit there, able to secure yellow armor after being rocket jumped by Rafa's rocket. Three to zero. This is a very tight game. Five minutes burned away. And uh, unlike, say, a T4, this is a very um, sort of patient map. It's, it's usually a bit more low scoring. Uh, Raph is able to grab red armor, and he hasn't really eaten a lot of rocket damage from Destructor. That's kind of big. Uh, that's going to maintain his dominance, I think. Neither guy really able to block down that red armor yet. They're just kind of giving items back and forth to each other. Yeah. Next players are going to probably need some Mega. Although that's whether or not the strike can get off of this side of the map. Uh, looks like Raph is trying to lock him down, grab red, and head over to Mega here with grenades getting in the way. Destruct's coming up really strong here, landing a lot of great rocket shots wow. on Rafa. Rafa just RJ'd um, away and just said, okay, fuck it. I can't get the item. That's okay. I'm just going to get the hell out of here and uh, not give up my lead. Destruct, sitting with that Mega, sitting with that Red, uh, has a chance to really turn things around. Uh, Rafa's going to do what he can to try to peel off that uh, stack just a little bit, but you can see he's not engaging. He's just tossing nades and backing off. And time, definitely not on Destruct's side here right now. Yeah, three minutes and three really eggs. Yep, he's really going to have to get more aggressive. Although, with a player like Rafa, he really can't afford to be too aggressive. He's just he's going to have to just pick a moment, and he's going to have to make it work for him. He's going to uh, need a mistake by Rafa, I think, here. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Rocket jumping out of the red armor area, and the Rafa knows that he's a bit lower here. And uh, the lightning gun is not working out for Destruct. He did not do enough damage there. Rafa's going to be able to get away and uh, secure. Oh wow! Destruct just shot almost straight up and hit Rafa. That was a beautiful shot. Great rocket there. But you know, still. Oh, here it is. The potential. Oh man, the health is sitting there. Destruct is going to be able to back into it here, and Rafa is stuck with 8 <laughs> health, and they kill each other. They just kill each other. Two minutes to go, a three frag game. Um, wow, Destruct really wishing that he could get a. Uh, <laughs> really wishing that he could have gotten an unanswered frag there, uh, because now, you know, he's. He's lost his weapons, he's lost the control, um, or potential of, of gaining control, I should say. Uh, we've got Rafa sitting at 120 and 130, while Destruct is sitting at 180 and 50. So, mega health in hand for Destruct, but only a minute and a half left to go. He's got three frags to burn through, and this map is really not all that kind for spawn frags. Um, because most of the time, the spawns happen kind of behind... Uh, the walls of this center area. Now here we're seeing Destruct going up very strong here. Mega health has spawned. Raph is able to back into it. Destruct is able to get the frag. 16 health. And uh, can Destruct get two more frags in one minute? That is the question. That's the million dollar question here. And Destruct is going to try to shut down Rafa at red armor. Um, and he's just uh, getting all the health. But of course at this point Rafa can just... Uh, run away. He's got 50 seconds to survive. That's all he needs to do. He's going to give Mega to Destruct. Oh no he's not! No he's not! He comes up from the top side and pushes Destruct off and this is going to be it right here. Oh Destruct gets the frag! One frag game and 30 seconds! 30 seconds! Holy shit he just landed a shot on Rafa. Can he tie wow. in 30 seconds? How did that... Wow. How did that not knock him off the platform? I know. I know. Holy shit balls. That really easily. Wow. That easily could have been 3-3 right there. He's got 10 seconds to make the play. Rafa. Oh, he walks into a rocket. 66 health to burn through. And the LG's come out. He's coming out to the MG. 3 seconds. 2 seconds. Rafa's gonna back off and win it by one frag. Holy shit. Great match. Rafa survives and steals that crown from Destruct. That was, uh...
I think four wins for Destruct. That was um, a great matchup. Outstanding, outstanding stuff. I really, really thought that that, like, that that rocket he hit up on that rocket platform was for sure going to knock Rafa off. I was watching from uh, Destruct's point of view, and I kind of wish I had seen it from Rafa, because, I mean, uh, did he get bounced around a bit by it? Uh, I couldn't tell, really. He might have landed on the platform just right below the bridge here. Ah, uh, okay. But, I mean, that could have gone either way. If he would have, if he'd have fallen into that lava, it would have been a suicide for sure. It's a very different style of gameplay. But, uh, yeah, I've been having some fun casting that lately. I'll throw up a link in our QL.TV channel for my latest back, uh, cast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, gamers check it out because you do a great job. We're seeing the first blood go to Rafa. And Chaotix just got hit with a rail. And as a fresh spawn, Rafa is sitting with a shotgun, 57 health, and 50 armor. We are, of course, back over on T4 Vertical Vengeance. And this is where we've got a pair of armors. And... Uh, Mega health on a two minute spawn timer. Chaotix ties the game with a beautiful rail, hitting Rafa in the ass as he is trying to get over to the other side of the map. Oh, Rafa eating another rail, able to pick up some armor though. And now a rail, so weapon wise, they're pretty even. Chaotix coming out with rockets, and Rafa defends himself. Yeah, Destruct imploring people who are playing to pick QuakeCon maps. And for those that don't know, um, the QuakeCon map list has been chosen for both Capture the Flag and Duels. Yeah, and, and you know that's part of the reason why we host this and why we invite all these guys in. So that they can get some warm-up for QuakeCon. Because we really, really want to see the North American guys do well against those pesky heroes. <laughs> So Rafa is on the run here, he has only 14 health, uh, Chaotix looking to do a bit more damage to him to try to uh, close that gap. 3 to 1 is the current score, about 2 minutes and 20 seconds burned away. Chaotix does hit rails to pull down Rafa, one frag game. It seems like both these guys, they're really just sort of playing a, a cat and mouse game. No one's going up very strong, a lot of the action is taking taking place um, you know, one one side of the map to the other. No real close quarters battles. Um, just peek out and take shots. And there it is, Rafa getting Chaotix into the corner. We'll pull him down. Now trying to deny the rail. Chaotix able to grab the rail but misses the shot. Rafa uses one of his own to put down Chaotix. Five to two is the current score. Make it six to two. Rafa extending his lead by four. And he hears that spawn for Chaotix, and he's going to go hunting. It's a pretty low-scoring game. Um, although Rafa is starting to pull away here. Five frags up. And uh, even though it's it's relatively low-scoring, it's just constant action. These guys just keep just barely seeing each other, barely getting shots on each other. But that's really all you need. Uh, I mean, really, this is if you ever want to work on your... Uh, Peak rail in your in your peak shot, um, you know skills. This is the map to play because honestly, that's that's what it's all about. Rafa able to dodge two rails from Chaotix there, and that's going to give him mega health and a bit of armor. He eats one there, down to six armor, still sitting pretty well with health. He's going to back off a little bit here as he ate yet another rail. Chaotix almost got him one more time, but Rafa lands a rocket that uh, he shot and just ran away. Uh, that will give him a 9-2 lead. So, so do we have any background info on him that, that we can share with the community, people that don't know? Yeah, Chaotix, he's a, you know, he's played WCG, representing America, he's done some articles, some, you know, dueling and Quake Strat articles in the past for, uh, it was GGO he wrote those for. Mm -hmm. Someone in IRC knows better than they can tell me, but I think it was GGO that he wrote those old guys for. Do you remember what years he played in the WCG? 